Mechanical engineers in 2025 operate in a landscape that barely resembles what existed a few years ago. Development cycles are shorter, validation workflows are heavily automated, and AI now touches nearly every stage of the product development process. Tasks that once required entire teams can now often be completed by a single mechanical engineer if he or she understands how to leverage programming, computational, and AI tools. This is creating a real divide. Mechanical engineers who can program are designing workflows, automating repetitive processes, and building the systems that multiply an entire team's output. Those who can't program are or will be pushed into narrower roles with limited upward mobility, and artificial intelligence has only accelerated this shift. Automated geometry generation, real-time simulation pipelines, intelligent test rigs, and data-driven optimization are expanding fast. But these systems don't run themselves. They need mechanical engineers who can configure, extend, and integrate them into hardware development environments. Programming is truthfully no longer a nice to have and has become one of the strongest predictors of long-term success for mechanical engineers. So the purpose of this video is to break down the programming languages that provide the most leverage for mechanical engineers today. These recommendations I'm about to give you come directly from real needs and product design testing, simulation, manufacturing, robotics, and computational engineering. And you only need to learn one or two depending on your interests and career goals. So the first language is one I recommend the most and consider foundational for every mechanical engineer, and that is Python. So Python remains one of the most impactful languages for mechanical engineers. Its scientific ecosystem is mature, extensive, and optimized for real engineering workflows. Numerical computation signal processing, automation, data extraction, test scripting, and simulation orchestration all rely heavily on Python. The ecosystem surrounding it, like NumPy, SciPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, PyVisa, PySerial, OpenCV, and ROS2 tools allows an engineer to handle virtually every computational task required in modern mechanical engineering. Python's low barrier to entry and deep library support make it ideal for accelerating common engineering routines like batch processing test results, automating CAD and simulation tasks via APIs, generating parametric data sets, and building internal automation tools that significantly reduce cycle time. For robotics and mechatronics engineers, Python remains the backbone of ROS2 prototyping, sensor fusion scripts, and hardware in the loop testing. Python is without question the best starting point for mechanical engineers who want to integrate programming into their workflow. I've always knew how to program, but I ultimately became proficient at Python by using boot.dev, who also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. The platform offers courses in a plethora of programming languages, including Python, SQL, Go, TypeScript, and more. But the reason I found boot.dev to be so valuable is the way it teaches programming through hands-on real project work that keeps me engaged instead of boring tutorials. So I'm currently working through this Python course, and what you'll notice is how hands-on the system is. The AI tutor, Boots, has been trained on every lesson and offers guidance without giving away answers. It honestly feels exactly like working with the senior engineer who pushes your reasoning instead of handing you the solution. Boot.dev also launched the training grounds that lets you practice unlimited coding challenges before progressing. My favorite part about Boot.dev is the RPG-like experience where you earn XP, achievements, complete quests, and fight bosses while learning to code. Every course has a free interactive demo, and the best part is there's a 30-day no questions asked refund policy. There's also a Boot.dev Discord community, which is extremely helpful. So if you want to learn programming while having a blast, click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen and use my promo code EGW to get 25% off your entire first year on the annual plan. Now, before we move on to the next languages, there's one thing I need you to understand when deciding what to learn. Learning programming is no longer about hype or chasing the newest trend. It's about long-term thinking and success. Programming is becoming a skill that allows 
mechanical engineers to expand beyond their traditional boundaries. Even if you plan to stay in product development or CAD focused roles, programming gives you capabilities that are increasingly expected today. That includes automating repetitive workflows, analyzing massive amounts of simulation results, generating complex parametric geometry, evaluating design variants in bulk, and integrating AI driven design tools into your daily process. More importantly, programming acts as a professional safety net. Career goals change and company needs evolve. Mechanical engineers proficient in programming can pivot into mechatronics, robotics, computational engineering, test automation, or even data science, which consistently offer higher compensation and broader long-term opportunities. You do not need to become a full-time software engineer to benefit from these skills, but the ability to script, automate, and build small tools is becoming one of the most reliable ways to build relevance and mobility across the entire mechanical engineering ecosystem. Now, with that context in place, the second language I recommend is MATLAB. MATLAB remains one of the most useful languages for mechanical engineers despite its age. Its strength lies in numerical computation, control systems, modeling, and signal analysis. The language integrates tightly with Simulink, which continues to dominate and model-based design for robotics, automotive systems, and aerospace controls. Mechanical engineers benefit from MATLAB's robust libraries for linear algebra, system identification, thermal analysis, and multi-body dynamics. Its plotting tools are precise and highly configurable, which makes MATLAB ideal for lab reports, validation documentation, and engineering presentations where accuracy and repeatability matter. MATLAB also interfaces directly with hardware using data acquisition toolbox, making it valuable for vibration testing, sensor calibration, and real-time control prototypes. Although Python now covers much of what MATLAB can do, many companies maintain legacy MATLAB code bases. Understanding MATLAB ensures compatibility with these environments and provides access to Simulink-based workflows that remain industry standards in 2025. Moving on, the third language is C++. C++ is essential in any field requiring low latency computation, real-time deterministic behavior, or direct hardware interaction. Mechanical engineers and robotics, autonomous systems, finite element development, and simulation software benefit the most. Modern robotic stacks such as ROS2 are written primarily in C++. While Python is used for orchestration and prototyping, high-performance nodes, hardware drivers, and time-critical components rely on C++. Mechanical engineers who write custom controllers, integrate new sensors, or develop real-time motion algorithms will require C++ to meet timing constraints. C++ is also the foundation of many simulation software. Commercial FEA and CFD tools rely on C++ under the hood, and engineers occasionally need to write plugins or custom solvers. Knowledge of C++ allows deeper integration with these tools and improves the engineer's ability to evaluate algorithmic performance. Next up is LabVIEW, which remains a dominant language in test engineering and hardware interfacing. Many mechanical engineers transition into reliability testing, DAX system development, and automated verification roles where LabVIEW is unavoidable. LabVIEW's graphical interface makes it ideal for building test dashboards, automated data logging systems, equipment control sequences, and sensor calibration stations. In 2025, LabVIEW is still widely used in aerospace, automotive, medical devices, and electronics manufacturing. Even when Python handles post-processing and high-level automation, LabVIEW controls the physical test setup. Mechanical engineers with LabVIEW experience reduce development time for test rigs and can directly integrate with national instruments hardware without intermediary software teams. Next on the list is SQL, and while it's not traditionally associated with mechanical engineering, it has become extremely relevant as organizations collect more operational test and product performance data. SQL is the foundation for querying structured data and almost every major engineering organization stores information in relational databases. It's also one of the most practical skills for engineers who might eventually pivot toward data science, data engineering, reliability analytics, or operations research. It pairs naturally with Python and allows engineers to work end-to-end -end by pooling data, cleaning it, analyzing it, and visualizing it. For mechanical engineers who are interested in computational modeling,
modeling or machine learning, SQL provides the data foundation that these workflows rely on. Even if you plan to stay fully within mechanical design, knowing SQL allows you to validate assumptions, analyze large data sets from simulations or test rigs, and support data-driven decision-making. It's stable, easy to learn, and provides long-term career flexibility. At number six is Fortran. Although Fortran is not the first language that mechanical engineers gravitate toward, it retains an enormous presence in high-performance numerical computing. Many legacy solvers and high-performance computing codes and structural mechanics, heat transfer and fluid dynamics are still written in Fortran. Mechanical engineers working in national labs, aerospace primes, big tech, or research organizations will likely encounter Fortran-based simulation tools. For mechanical engineers in academia or high-end simulation consulting, Fortran competence ensures compatibility with long-standing code bases that are still computationally optimal. Last but not least is C for embedded systems. Mechanical engineers involved in mechatronics, robotics, or hardware bring up often work with microcontrollers. Although MicroPython and Arduino-style C++ are viable for prototypes, production firmware still relies heavily on C. This is especially true in systems that require deterministic timing, safety certification, or low power operation. C provides direct control over memory and process registers, allowing mechanical engineers to write efficient drivers for actuators, sensors, encoders, and communication interfaces such as SPI, I squared, or I to C, and CAN. Mechanical engineers who contribute to cross-functional projects with electrical and firmware teams benefit significantly from understanding C. So to summarize, mechanical engineers who learn the programming language that best aligns with their personal and career goals can extend their capabilities far beyond traditional boundaries. It's not about learning all of these languages, but rather identifying one or two that fit your workflow, your team, and career trajectory. By focusing on languages that serve your specific needs, you maximize your impact, increase your adaptability, and ensure you remain an indispensable contributor in an ever-changing workplace. All right, guys, that's it for today. Again, if you want to level up your programming skills, be sure to check out boot.dev through the link in the description below. And don't forget to use my promo code EGW to get 25% off your first year. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out my video here where I share why you might not fully understand mechanical engineering. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.